Oh, another video. Thanks for watching. Today is the 28th of February 2024. I'm titling this video uh, Food Security. Due to biomass of the vertebra grass, the vertebra bamboo grass, this is a Chris Sapogan Z90. Why do they call it the bamboo grass? There's the evidence. Look at the bamboo. Okay, and each knuckle. Now, we've done thousands of videos. We've got over 3,500 videos on uh, YouTube. So look at the knuckles and the shoots. Look at that beautiful shoots and knuckles on that. Uh, the, the, that bamboo, that knuckle has grown another long, long. Look at this one here. And there's bamboo on top of bamboo on top of bamboo. So you can see that this is the most prolific, fastest growing highest production okay of, of biomass the leaf the leaf and now these are these are about two year old now this is a part of a research um hedge we call it and you can see here we've replanted areas which were not um after us cutting and harvesting right and and and, and we've actually done multiple videos of us pulling or harvesting and and trimming this mega hedge, but we're doing this for research purposes. So this is a very powerful uh, evidence of the of the the biomass, the weight and number of leaf, and and how long to leave it before cutting. We've learnt so much now. These pieces I'm going to talk about now on the grass. These come from this hedge, from this vertebra hedge, right? Now we're showing you real life here. And now these bamboo pieces come from the hedge, uh, a, a 10, the 12, 13 foot long. And have a look at each of those knuckles. Now, these knuckles, due to where they're positioned in the, in the, in the, in the uh, grass, in, in the grass, actually, uh, when it's more sunlight, then they start shooting the, 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 the bulbs, the air bulbs. See, I'm breaking it off with my hand there. I'll just pull that off. Have a look how beautiful that that's a total individual that's very dry by the way they've been sitting here for several days um but there's the air roots we call it it's a fully established bulb with multiple shoots that's most probably got about six to eight uh vertebra in that particular uh one piece Can you imagine that one piece can grow like this in or 12 months but they grow huge just in three months four months this is like two months three months now look at these pieces here they're, they're literally same principle we pulled them out of here okay there it is here same all those bamboo pieces have a look at them here and you can see the shoots coming from them because when we when we uh, reshaped these and harvested the the vertebra deliberately the way we wanted sunlight's now hitting these and they'll all shoot before they had a lot of vertebrae in front. See these big ones growing in front, they shoot. Well, we deliberately removed them because we're experimenting. Now we share this because we're so advanced in our research and we've been doing this for 35 years. Here's one that broke off in the wind and it's just dried because it's sitting on the top. Have a look at, at the maturity and the clusters. These are big, big clusters. And, 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 and have a look at the... I'll just pull this one off. Uh, have a look at this again. The, 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 if that come from the bamboo shoot, the, from the bamboo grass, the Chrysopogon Z90, and there's a mature thick, that's most probably a year old, this uh, six months, eight months old. Uh, okay, this particular... That come from the monocle. It grew another bamboo, a mature... That's got bamboo. That's why we say we can sing a song. Tiny kangaroo, bamboo. It's a bamboo grass. Okay, here is another classic example. We just want to show the, 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 the prolific production. This one here is about six foot and it's dry, yes, but we don't mind showing you that because these broke off. These broke off and I just explained that this is a research and development piece. I love this piece here. Have a look. Okay, have a look at the... The beautiful bamboo growing, bamboo on top of bamboo. Okay, here's another piece. This one here, look how long, look how long this piece is. Okay, 
I'm six foot, so this is about 10 foot. And once again, they were behind the back of the hedge. Okay, see, these here, when they got uh, tied up, which we are still going to do, went to 22 feet high. So when you've got a biomass at 22 feet high, and you can harvest them, shape them, cut them, here's all the younger. Look at that's the biomass. That's, that's fish food, chicken food, cattle food, goat food. Okay, so I just showed you these pieces that fell off as an example. So this is about food security. It's about soil restoration. It's about creating environments that plants can be grown, vegetables and herbs and, and trees, where no other plants can grow because of the technology, because of the vertebrate grass, because it brings shade, insulation, moisture. It's an insurance for heat. It's insurance for, for, um, for, for, for drought, flood. It's, 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 got, it's, it's a symbiotic partnership and relationship with plants and commercial crops. There's so many videos globally on this. So this is a beautiful example of biomass. Now, you can cut it and harvest it every three months. We've even harvested weekly, weekly. And, and, and so the biomass is subject to the fertilizing program that we do use, SOS Organic Liquid Fertilizer. And, uh, but you can, it's subject to the deep, the depth of the roots and the moisture. This is specifically for harvesting the biomass for food security, for, for stock feed. So there's a visual aspect. This is a security hedge. It stopped all the wind. It's a living um, investment that you can continue on, um, continue on harvesting, cutting. You can shape it. You can create a beautiful green, very, very lush, perfect uh, hedge out of this. Now, these also, due to the root system, they can grow directly in water. I'll just come over here. This is, once again, this is a research centre. Here's one that's actually in a 50-litre container. There's no soil, and it's just it's in a pot now. But that's 100% in water. So it's just the roots are actually in water. Okay? So you can actually live them. Here's one in, in a 50-kilo in a bag. Okay, you can see all this biomass is only about two weeks old. Look how thick and beautiful. That can be cut two weeks time another volume. So here's another mega hedge, same principle. You, we've done literally thousands of videos. We've replanted it. We've left certain grasses which we deliberately want to do videos on because it, it's this research driven. Look at the growth just about three days now. See the beautiful green shoots from those major big and all this is this gutter, construction rocks, all those are filled up with rocks. So the roots have got to go through the rocks. And when they hit the ground, then they kept on going meters and meters deep. And you can see by these ones here. And this was and still is uh, a mega project hedge because of the harsh conditions from the very beginning, which was this, this concrete small gutter full up with construction rocks. Couldn't even, we've got a picture of it, a video in the beginning, couldn't even put a, a bamboo piece in. Uh, and only some sections of it, the grass grew. But they grew so big and wide, they covered the whole hedge completely, 18 to 20 foot high, lush green. So this is a real powerful example of biomass. Once again, let's go back to food security. Let's go back to food security. This video is evidence of the biomass. Now, the biomass, we're actually using this and we're supporting multiple uh, projects all to do with manufacturing feedstock. There's so much high-tech uh, materials um, with this with this bamboo. It's, it's, there's so many thousands of species of bamboo. This is a bamboo, it doesn't grow any bigger, but it's a very hard wood, so it's perfect for biochar and many other, uh, other te new tech products which are out. This is, and due to the, the, the once again, the prolific fast growing, the fast, fast growing um, uh, biomass of this particular miracle grass, the miracle grass, once again, can you, can you comprehend how many pieces from this one cluster, which started with one little piece like these ones, these are brand new planted, look at them. 
They're bamboo cuttings, no roots. And they're all shooting. See, they're all shooting now. They're there. And some of these ones, which, which are not bamboo, they're, they're like an like a air bulb, like this one. And we put that in. Okay, some of these here. But they're all bamboo. They're all bamboo. The majority are all bamboo. And you'll see in the, in the next few days and weeks, it'll just be one green mat. So thank you for what, thank you. All inquiries welcome. We are global. Uh, our, this particular branch is in Subba, Malaysia. I'm one of the senior principal consultants. We take all inquiries. And at the end of every video now, our catch, what we call it, uh, that we are supporting charities. We're giving, um, we are able to give thousands, tens of thousands of, of vertebra pieces freely to charities and community projects which are in need of landslide recovery, water conservation. There's a drought on all the time. There's floods and droughts, extreme weather. Why I say food security is global. There's global warming solutions. This is one of the key grasses. And, and that's in conjunction and it's a part of uh, food security. Food security is stock feed. You, you, you may not be able to eat this leaf, in fact you can. <laughs> but what I'm getting at is it's not normally uh, promoted as a food for humans, but it's definitely a food for stock feed, okay, which we can eat. So it is food security um, solutions, and it is global warming because, you know, for landslides and, and, and soil and water conservation and it can, it, it, pontoons, that's where I showed you before that massive big, big grass there. Uh, that, that we've got so many videos on that already and there's some great videos out there on YouTube and uh, that's that's with pontoon management and and we're, we're back actually heavily involved with uh, organic waste management palm oil mill waste management any waste any organic waste with our hundreds of millions and billions of red composting worms and the vertebra combined it's a symbiotic partnership relationship with that we have the solution to uh transform waste into um wealth into high grade organic liquid and solid fertilizers so this is what we're offering and please all inquiries are welcome and once again any charities any projects we can be very generous in the use of our product to give away and we'll give you on-site uh, advice online advice to maximize so you can uh, be a testimony to our YouTube and TikTok channel and all our social media, but there's no need for any money um, because most of these projects um, wait for a standard repair and they're expensive and a lot time consuming and then they've still got an ugly scar of concrete left. Okay, all around us here, in every suburb, every kampong, every area, there's massive slides and ugly slides everywhere because it's extreme weather caused problems this year that's never been never been experienced before so th things have changed and it's changed rapidly so once again thank you from vertiva technology solutions the miracle solution for food security the miracle solution for global warming this scale this up and it's going to make a major dent in agriculture and all aspects of water, drought. The biggest problem is our future droughts we're going to experience, unfortunately. And uh, with the combination of extreme weather, with hard droughts, when it does rain, the water's run off because of hard soil. DSS, dead soil syndrome, and because of chemical fertilizer, hardening the ground and killing the microbes and, and, and reducing um, the, the, the microflora that's normally there. Uh, then creates massive landslides and floods and the water runs off. It doesn't seep into the subsoil and, and regenerate the groundwater. And, and that's why um, they, 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 it's, uh, after a big uh, a drought, say one month, three months, big rain, thunderstorm, one day gone, three days back to drought again. And there's more damage, more erosion and more problems. And But with vertebra, it'll all go deep straight down, like massive direction of those multiple meter deep root systems thank you thank you thank you please our youtube channel 3500 videos we are passionate we are in love with this miracle solution we're here to help and promote and educate